Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing new rear brakes on this uh, Honda TRX250. The brakes have just sort of worn out. I think something might have broken inside. So we're going to go ahead and pull off the rear drum brake and get that replaced. Alright, so the first step is going to be to remove this rear right tire. There's just four 17 millimeter uh, nuts holding this on. Actually, I'm going to spray those a little bit with some WD-40. Help them come off these threads. I'm just going to thread these back on here so I don't lose them. And so here's the brake drum itself. It's connected to the rear uh, drive shaft and the axle and drive shaft going that way. But we're going to have to pull this cover off. We've got to take these two large locking nuts off the axle so that we can get everything to slide out here. And there's also a washer back here that we're going to have to be careful of. And so we're going to want to go ahead and pull those off. And I think actually we're also going to have to pull off this spindle right here. So yeah, this is going to come off right here. There's a cotter pin right here they'll have to take off, and then just this nut and this whole uh, hub assembly should come right off. Let's wipe this stuff down, it's all dirty. There we go, just move it around a little bit, it'll come out. Let's put a little bit of penetrating solution on there, self has got to come off. All right, this is a 27 millimeter. It's a little bit big, but it's all I've got, so hopefully it'll pull this off. This is probably like a 26, but let's see if I can get this off without. Oh, I guess I should put it in gear. It's gonna spin. Okay, I locked it in reverse. That's tight. All right, we're gonna need a little bit more torque. <laughs> there we go, perfect. Come right off. Okay, yep, need some new grease in there. But the splines look okay. Have to clean that out. Splines look good, but yeah, that grease is definitely all dried out. Next is these two lock nuts and the skid plate. So next there are three skid plate bolts. There's one here on the side, one up on the front here, and one on the back side on the back side of the axle over here. Where's my finger? One on the back side over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these off. They're 12 millimeter bolts. And then we can drop the whole skid plate here. It's kind of full of a bunch of junk, so I might make a little bit of a mess, but try to keep it contained. Okay, there we go. It's a skid plate. All right, now it's time to pull these lock nuts off. I'm gonna try to clean these threads up a little bit. They're not dirty, but they're so fine that I think every little extra bit is gonna help. Just a little bit of simple green. And a brush just to make sure these are as dirt free as possible. Okay, so I just found 
<coughs> giant crescent wrench. Oops. That I'm going to use to hopefully get this thing off here. I don't know how big it is. I had an inch and a half wrench, but it didn't fit, so this is bigger than that. And then I just have a giant pair of plumber's channel locks to hold the other nut if I need. So hopefully that'll work. I'm going to get these two loosened up. I'm going to support this. Just keep it from... Oh, and there's a little collar on here, actually, that you need to make sure you keep track of. This should come off and go with the axle uh, hub. Let me pull that off and set that aside right there. And I'm just going to gently put this under here just to support as I'm rotating this. Okay. There we go. So that guy came loose pretty easily, actually. Not that hard. Now it's just a game of getting it off. They're very fine threads, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So if you just play with it for a little while, eventually you can get the nuts off. You want to make sure you keep them in order because there's the outer nut, the inner nut. There's an O-ring here which you'll want to replace. Oh no, sorry, this is just a little washer. And then there's another big washer right in here. Let's see if I can get that out. Yes. Yep, then there's, this is the bearing right here. <laughs> So you want to keep all these four pieces together. You want to make sure you don't mix up the order so they go back on correctly. So I like to take them all off together. Just take a little zip tie, zip them together, and then you've got your set so you know what goes where when you go back to assemble it. Remember, the big one goes on the inside. So next, what I've got to do is remove the rear brake control pedals. Right, One of these comes from the front brake. On the handlebar, one of them comes from the foot brake, so you just got to take off these adjuster nuts all the way. I'm just going to mark these so I can tell the difference between them. I'm going to put a piece of tape on the top cable. Not that I think I'll forget, but it just helps. So the top one I'm just marking with some black electrical tape, just to be safe. This nut should come all the way off. Okay, there's one. And this spring, Let's see this should slide off and out. Yep, that goes back like that. And this guy, he comes out of here too. Yep, okay. Now we're gonna put all this, the spring and the little adjuster bad boy and the nut back on the cable just so nothing gets lost. Now, I think this, it says to take this arm assembly off. I don't know if I have to. I think I can take these five, one, two, three, four, five, bolts off and then I'll pull off this whole assembly here. Okay, so I think this arm can actually stay on. I'm just going to pull off these five 12 millimeter bolts holding the casing on. 12 millimeter. Yep, that feels perfect. Nice. <laughs> those aside right there. Now it says to pry this assembly. There's a pry point right here to go ahead and take this assembly off. This little nut that's remaining here on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it from there. This little nut right here is a drain nut. So if you ever get water in here, you can pull this nut and it'll drain any water that's in the um, brake drum, which is part of the reason why I knew this might be bad because I did get water in here at one point. This could be a bit of a pain. You want to be careful with this thing because it is just aluminum. But this housing has to be clutz with a little bit. Let me give you one pry point, which is kind of annoying. I don't think there's one on the other side here. 
Mm, oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so you just keep prying on it. A little bit here and there. It's coming loose. Careful. Oh, there we go. Eventually, it'll break loose. And come right out. Woo! I can smell the gear oil. Show the other side of this thing. And there are the, the brake drum and the brake shoes. Wow. Yeah, it's grimy. Thought it wasn't working so hot. Ooh, gross. Yeah, definitely. Hmm, they can smell gear oil. Definitely got water in here at some point. Because the inside of this thing is pretty. Pretty nasty looking, I don't know if you can see it. But there's all kinds of brake dust caked in there. Along with some white junk. So, this is gonna need to be cleaned out. Okay, here's the unit. Let me slid out. Somehow I'm supposed to remove this seal, I think. So, oh yeah, here we go, the seal just pops out. Okay, so I think this is the drum that just has to come off. So here we have the cleaned up new brake assembly. I'm trying to put this arm, this is the uh, the control arm back on here. Just having a little trouble getting it on to this, um, this, uh, whatever they call this, this is the brake adjustment controller so that expands the pads on the side. Having a little trouble getting it on, so I'm just having to bang it a little bit, unfortunately. The splines aren't quite lined up for me. It's been a real pain. It's been a real nuisance trying to get this thing back on here. But, I got half on. Okay, I don't know why that's so, such a tight tolerance, my goodness. I hope that's the right position. Okay, so I got the assembled drums here, I got the new uh, brake pads on. Oh, this is the attachable at the bottom, this is the adjuster clip that I'm trying to get assembled here on the other side. Getting close. Okay, I think that's mostly in position. You can see it's, I don't know if we can see here, it's slid onto both the splines in there. It's just down a little bit. I'm going to put the uh, retaining bolt on. Just loosely snug it in for now. I'm going to snug it on when I get all of this assembled. Just going to put that like that. Okay, now got the brake shoes in, got the drum on the quad, which we'll look at in a second. Everything's nice and cleaned. Let's try to put this together. Okay, I've already got the brake drum slid in here. Here's the drum. I'm gonna put the pads, just uh, slide these back in, hopefully. All right, on the splines here. And the bearing should come and see. It's right next to that. This guy on here. There we go. Shoes slid right in there, that's nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh, and there's a giant new O-ring, I guess I forgot to show, that goes right around this edge right here. I put a new O-ring on there. This is the old O-ring that came off here. Put a new one right around here, because that's what's supposed to seal this, to keep this water tight. And also, there's this giant collar with another O-ring in it, and it's gonna slide right over here into the seal, I think. Whoops. Yeah, should go in there. Like 
like that. Very nice. And then all of that, it's pushed in there. There's a little bit of a gap right now, so I have to just take some persuasion and slide it in there. But that's looking good so far. Before I slide everything in, so make sure my brake lines are going to fit. Looks like that should be long enough, so I think that length should work. Everything's pretty lined up well. And so we'll get those out of the way for a second. Let's get all this tightened up. Okay, just gonna tap this guy over a little bit and help him seal. I think if I uh, start tightening these bolts down a little bit, I should pull it in as well. Let me do that. Okay, this is a, these are 12 millimeter bolts. So we're just gonna slowly tighten them up all the way around. Try to get this guy to see. Little bits, slow and steady, just to slide everything together. Hope I didn't forget anything, because I definitely don't want to pull this back apart. But I think we're good. Stay like in the right position. I hope so. There we go. Seat nicely. Plug these up briefly for now and do a final kind of torque of everybody later. Remember, it's only aluminum, so you don't want to over crank them. Okay, this guy. This should work. Right? I'm not sure this is going to do what I want it to do. Okay, seems happy. Uh, let's see, this guy goes in here. It's on the line, kind of squishing in there. Nope. Okay, so now we Okay, well they're on, and I think that should line up correctly, I hope. So we will uh, put these, put this wash complex back together. See how I get your uh, trio. Make sure again, fortunately I hooked them all together the way they came out, so the washer goes on the inside. There's a big washer, then this little washer after that, then these other nuts. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these things off. Just scrape them out, spray them with some penetrating solution clean off those threads, clean the washers a little bit just to make sure everything goes up back on very nicely. I've already cleaned this. Okay, so this guy should go on here like this. Okay, there we go. So everything's on. Now I'm just going to torque everything up. I'm going to look up the torque specs. Alright, I'm just going to go through and snug everything up. I guess you get water in there, which hopefully won't for a while. And all these guys. Kind of do a crisscross pattern on this guy, I think. Oops. Ah. 
brake cable is not in my way. Ah, I need an extension. One, two, there's five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so one, two, three, it's tight. Four and five. Okay, those are all tight. That looks good. Gasket looks good. I'm sure it's squeezing in nicely. Okay, those are tight. That guy's tight. That guy's tight. Let's tighten these. This 10 millimeter adjuster here. Snug this guy on here. Should be good. I'll have to adjust that. These axles, these cover bolts are tight. Drain plug's tight. This guy's tight. Okay, let's put on these nuts. Oh, okay, it says to tighten the rear <laughs> axle nut to 29 foot-pounds. Okay, not as tight as I would have thought, 29 foot-pounds. Oh, and the rear axle lock nut to 94 foot-pounds. Okay, it says apply thread locking compound with the other nut. Let's see if I can find some of that. So since I can't get a torque wrench on this, I'm just going to kind of estimate, give it a good check here. Let's see if I can get this on here. Yeah, that feels like 29 pounds. And let's see if I can get some. This one's supposed to go to 94, wow. Okay. Let's slide this guy out here. Ninety-four foot pounds. There we go. Well, ugga dugga, just to. Okay. One more. There we go. That's good enough. Hopefully, that stays. We'll just mark these two right next to each other. See if they ever loosen. A good safety thing okay that's tight so this is in theory all back together we can tighten this up I'm just gonna tighten this up so this cam kind of goes to the end there just starts to pull on the brake lever and you know with use you can just sort of adjust these to comfort but that's uh, that's the brake, and now it's just time to put the axle back on. The axle hub, wheel hub, excuse me. There is this collar that goes back on. Don't forget this collar right here. I'm going to put some, some grease on it. And then put some grease on these. It's a little bit of grease here. There we go. A little bit of grease. Oops, got some dirt in there. There we go. A little bit of grease on these. A little bit of grease on this guy inside this collar. There we go. Slide this on here. And put a little bit of grease on the inside of these two, just to make sure everything is nice and lubricated. There we go. Let's rub it around in here. Okay, this is nice and greased. 
just going to slide it on here. Boom. That was easy. Let me pull a grease on these threads too. Just put this nut on nicely. The axle nut. And uh, don't forget your cotter pin with the axle nut. Whoops, where am I? Don't forget the cotter pin with the axle nut. I'm going to clean this off a little bit. Put some goop on it. Nice and clean so it sits against that surface. And this probably tightens. Let's see, what does this Got my 27 millimeter socket and just gonna tighten this guy nicely. Okay. And make sure you get room to put the cotter in. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're good there. Can slide the key in. Might have to bang on a little bit just to get it to go through. Just wait that guy go through a little There we go. And we'll just bend the key out. Okay, that's yeah, not going anywhere. There we go. That's on there. These are the old nasty brake pads that came out. See they're all corroded. One of the shoes even came out trying to pry it out.